Hey everybody, welcome to this uh, video comparison review here. Uh, we have here the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 and also the Droid Ultra, uh, Motorola Droid Ultra. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, tell you guys about the specs. Uh, on the Droid Ultra we have a 1.7 GHz dual core processor. Uh, on the Note 3 we have a 2.3 GHz quad core processor. Uh, we have 3 gig of RAM on the Note uh, 3. On the Ultra, we have 2 gig of RAM. As far as the resolution, we have a 720p uh, screen resolution on the Droid Ultra with a 5 inch diagonal screen. Uh, on the Note 2, we have a 5.7 diagonal with full 1080p screen resolution. As far as the cameras, 2 megapixel front facing camera on both. Uh, as far as the rear camera, on the Note 3, we have a 30 megapixel with flash. Uh, on the Droid Ultra, we have a 10 megapixel camera with flash. As far as the battery, on the Note 3, we have a 3200 milliamp uh, battery. And on the Droid Ultra, we have a 2130 milliamp battery. Uh, I'll be honest with you, I have been testing this uh, Droid Ultra for several weeks now and uh, the battery is amazing. I mean, I will say this uh, phone will compete easy with the Note 3 as far as the battery life. Um, so that's as far as the specs. Uh, let's go ahead and start with a quadrant test to see the All right guys, so as far as the score, uh, we have uh, 36,062 points on the Note 3. On the Droid Ultra, we got 20,292 points. So that shows you guys right there um, the power of the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. Uh, we're looking at about 16,000 points above the Droid Ultra. Let's go ahead and take a look now at the camera's interface. Um, on the Droid Ultra, uh, the phone takes uh, really good pictures. Uh, even though it's a uh, 10 megapixel on the Note 3, it's a uh, 13. I believe the quality is uh, pretty comparable when it comes to the pictures. Uh, there's one feature that, that the Droid Ultra has that the Note 2 doesn't have. Uh, you can actually check the phone like this in order to access the camera um, without actually clicking on the camera icon. So you just can you just check the phone and that will activate the camera. Uh, that's a really cool feature and we don't have that on the Note 3. Uh, so as far as the camera interface, it's uh, very simple. We just uh, tap on the screen to take a picture. Uh, if we swipe to the left, we get access to the picture gallery. Uh, we go back, we swipe to the right, we get access here to the uh, uh, settings of the camera. And then in order to do filters or to um, add different uh, options to the picture that you took uh, you have to actually go to the gallery and then click right here and then you get the different filters down here um, in comparison to the Note 3 uh, you can actually set or change different settings or, or filters before you actually take the picture on. Uh, other than that uh, to start a video we click right here and uh, it's gonna start videotaping uh, we don't have the pause uh, option like we do on the Note 3 and then to stop the video just uh, click on stop and as far as the front facing camera it's uh, right there so that's as far as the camera interface uh, let me show you guys a uh, quick uh, the Note 3 and then I'm going to show you some uh, samples of uh, pictures and video on the, on the Note 3 uh, pretty much the camera is the same camera that we have on the Samsung Galaxy S4. I think this is one of the best cameras uh, available right now, in my opinion. Uh, it takes pictures uh, pretty quick. And here's a recording mode. And uh, with this phone, we can actually pause the video right here, continue recording, and then stop the video. Also, uh, it comes with so many different filters and features and different modes. If we click here on mode, uh, we get access to all these uh, different modes. So there is a lot of uh, options and customization when it comes to the camera and pictures. On. 
uh, right here also if we click here we get access to more filters and the other thing too is that uh, with this phone you can actually record uh, with both cameras at the same time with the rear camera and the front facing camera uh, so here's a uh, front facing camera and uh, to access the settings we click right here uh, we get different settings right here we can change the recording mode uh, we click here one more time and we get access here to other settings as far as the, the camera and as far as the video camera so as you guys can see we have uh, up to 30 megapixels here with the Note 3 and as far as the video we get actually about 1080p uh, this phone offers a 3000 or 3840 by 2160 it's a higher resolution than 1080p we don't have that with the Motorola uh, so let's uh, go ahead and take a look guys a couple of pictures all right guys so we're gonna take a look at uh, some uh, videos and sample uh, pictures here uh, starting with the Note 3 uh, here is a sample video in 4k resolution uh, which is the highest resolution available So that's a, a video right there in 4K. Uh, now let me show you guys a couple of pictures in a 13 megapixel resolution. Very, very clear and good pictures. Really good quality with the Samsung Galaxy Note 3. So that's as far as uh, pictures and video. Uh, here's uh, with the Droid Ultra. Uh, here's um, a video in 1080p. Alright, so that was a video in 1080p. Uh, here's a picture, guys, uh, taken inside in uh, 10 megapixel resolution. Also offers a uh, pretty good quality. Here's another picture. So, as far as the pictures and video, uh, both phones uh, offers uh, really really good quality uh, you get more pixels uh, with the Note 3 and also you get a, a higher video resolution but other than that they both have uh, good cameras all right now we're gonna take a look at uh, Google Maps and do some uh, navigation here uh, let's go ahead and navigate to Washington DC on both phones Uh, they found the place about the same time. Let's go ahead and navigate. And we're going to pick this uh, route right here. Head east, Head east on Comstock Avenue towards South 35th Street. Alright, so basically both phones are uh, found the location or the address at the same time and pretty much uh, started the navigation at the same time. What's the population of China? The population of China was 1.351 billion in 2012. Alright guys, uh, we have Facebook here. Let's uh, go ahead and zoom in and zoom out uh, this picture here. So as you guys can see, the Note 3 is way faster when it comes to zoom in and zoom out.
guys, we're gonna take a quick look here at uh, uh, the keypad, and we're gonna do a quick uh, call just uh, to test the quality. We're gonna call customer service. So you can add a call, you get access to the keypad, you can mute, you can uh, do the Bluetooth and you can increase the volume right here. Here on the Droid Ultra. As you can see, we get access to the keypad here. We can mute it. We can add a call to. It doesn't show the option for Bluetooth from this uh, screen right here. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna conclude the review right here. Uh, as far as the Droid Ultra, we have an application called Droid Sap, which actually lets you uh, send pictures or, or files or videos in general to other Motorola devices with the same application uh, wireless. Uh, you can do something similar with the Note 3 uh, using Bluetooth. Uh, you can uh, transfer files uh, using Bluetooth. Uh, other than that, there's another useful application here uh, with the Droid Ultra. It's called Assist. And basically, this works with the GPS. So once it detects that you're moving, um, it's going to activate this app. So if you get a phone call or a text, uh, the phone is going to reply the text message or the phone call by sending the person a quick uh, reply back saying that you're busy and you will call back later. Uh, and then also, like I showed you, you can access the camera by checking the phone. We don't get that with the Note 3. On the other hand, with the Note 3, uh, we get access here to the eye blaster, so we can actually control a TV. Uh, the other thing is that we on the Note 3, we get access to the S Pen. Uh, we give, gives you all these uh, different options right here. Just to give you an example here, uh, we can actually select a, a portion or a section of the screen. And then from this point, we can save it, uh, we can rename it, we can uh, send it to somebody. Uh, here's one of the other options. Let's do this one right here. And then from this point, you can uh, write down a phone number. You can attach that phone number to your dialer, so you can actually dial the number. You can uh, save it as a contact, send it by email, uh, by text, etc. So these are just some of the features with the with the S Pen, uh, something that we don't get with the Motorola. Uh, however, I believe the Motorola is cheaper than the than the Note 3. Um, so, anyways, uh, both phones are really good phones. They both offer amazing performance. Uh, guys, uh, thanks for watching and subscribe. That was the Note 3 and the Droid Ultra. See you later.